Welcome! In front of me I have a Macefit T-Rex 2 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on the watch. To turn it on simply press and hold the select button and keep holding it until you see the Macefit logo on the screen. Once you see the logo on the screen, you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. After the watch turns on, you should see the list of languages on the screen. And you can scroll through this list by swiping on the screen, up and down. Now, find the language you like to use on your watch, select it and tap on it to uh, confirm and apply it. I'm just gonna select English, like this. And now we need to download and install the Zep application on our phone. So we need to open the uh, Google Play Store. Of course, we also need internet connection to download the application, so remember about that. In the App Store, tap on the search, type in Zep, and tap search button. And you should see this application, Zep, formerly, for, formerly known as Amazfit, developed by Huami. Tap on the install, uh, uh, install button to download and install it. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on the open button to open it. In the application, you will need to log in into a, <coughs> a Zep account. You can also use third party applications like Facebook, Google, Xiaomi and others to log in. And if you don't have an account, you can also create one by tapping on sign up. I already have an account, so I'm going to tap right here, enter the email address. Then tap right here and enter the password. So give me a couple of seconds. And once you're done entering the credentials, you can tap on sign in to log in. Oh, I must enter the password incorrectly. Give me a second. Let's try this one. And it seems like this one worked. And after you log in, you should see the home page of the application. Now tap on the profile icon. And sh here you should see the list of my devices. And on it, you should see add device button. Tap on it. Select the watch category. And here we need to tap on got it and allow the permission for the location. You can allow it for um, only this time or while using the app. And the app will probably ask you to allow it for uh, all the time because it wants to get the access to location in the background. If you don't care and you want to allow it, just tap on allow all the time. You can also keep it on while using the app or ask every time, but it's gonna keep uh, asking you to allow the uh, permission for all the, all the time. So I'm just gonna do it, but you can uh, try to just keep it disabled if you want to. Okay, so once you allow the uh, permission for the location, you also you will need to allow to the permission for the photos and videos. So you need to tap on got it, tap on while using the app, and you should see the this on the screen. Basically, now we need to scan the QR code with the camera of our phone. So we need to pick up our phone, point it on the watch, scan the QR code, and once you scan the QR code, it's gonna start connecting the watch with the phone. And once the devices are uh, connected, you, it will ask you to allow the, or accept the pairing request. Let's accept it. And here we can uh, basically synchronize the settings from the previous device and from the account if you want. If you want to basically uh, import data from your account and other watches, you can synchronize them by checking the boxes here and then tapping on synchronize account information. I'm just gonna uncheck them and tap on set as new device. Then we can tap on done. And here we have a tutorial how to use the watch. Like this and you can tap on done. And after this you should see the device page for your Amazfit T-Rex 2. Let's wait until it's done connecting. And 
And here we have it. This means that the devices are paired together and you should be able to use your watch at this point. Okay, and that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.